teeth and they're all loose. And they're still loose. Like you know what we've got to do, Bob? We've got to bring a blend in these tools. <laughs> Better still, we just get a drip, yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon about that, Chef Man? Throw in a couple of BBs. No, that's <laughs> better. Good reaction, Graham. Got a late, late afternoon fish. Yeah, so let's get a line out there and go for a fish, eh? Oh, hello. We're here on Scott's Beach trying to catch a fish. You spilled the bait? <laughs> Mate, I'm just waiting to see whether they're coming in. Ah, oh, the old fisherman. Here we've got a sinker, specially made for like sandy rough bottom. See those little bits of wire, they sort of catch on the sand. Have a look out, and have a look at the end of the rod. That's what's known as a swivel, and that actually turns around like that, so the line doesn't get tangled up. Huh? And here we have a couple of snurled hooks. Snurled means tying them up on a piece of fishing line. Brent normally tangles them up on a piece of fishing line, but I try to tie them up neatly. See, it's a beautiful job, except that little piece I should have cut off, but I couldn't find my knife. Okay, now we're ready for a piece of bait on here. Oh, jeez. That sticks. Now, this pilchard here was fresh. It was, it's, you can actually eat it. I've tried them once, but I don't really want to again. And when you hook, put the hooks through that, it sits in the water and it flaps. And the fish actually think it's a real live fish, which has been injured. So they come along and they try to bite it. But our hooks, I'll show you how these are installed. Everyone does it different. I normally put one through there, measure out the length, and then you poke that through so that fits nice and tight on the fish. Just do half a hitch around the tail and the top of that hook so that holds it nice and tight. Now that's all ready to catch whatever's out there. Okay, let's go. Down this way now. What sort of sink have you got, mate? These guys, they use star sinkers which have not wire hooks, so they slip. This line's going out that way, so if I cast there, you'll get tangled up with me. That Anchor it in the sand. It's wide. Okay. Easy to get off the dude. Plus it's a little bit closer here. I don't have to cast as far. Now we're all ready to cast. Get this and you do this. Start swinging out like that. Here we have our fishing umpires. How was the score so far? It's absolutely shit. The idiots that give me fuel are out there with a lot of fish within 100 miles. So we'll wait until we get to the right spot, then we'll come launching down and become the A team. It's as simple as that. Because you have got clutches and you've got A team. And that's it. They're all discussing which way the wind's going and everything else. There's not a lot of fish within sight. Have a look at this. Two sandbars. They're all casting straight on with it. Countless fishermen, I think not. At least they're happy. We'll that's go down with this fish, won't we, Brent? Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's pretty... Get... Oh, he's <laughs> got the f***ing thing on again. Get it on. <laughs> So we're waiting until we get to the right spot, 
Then we'll come launching down and become the A-Team. A-team. Lucky? Yeah. Yeah. The A-Team. We should try and get through this sand dune here. He'll, it'll piss it in. Yeah, Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Then we, we'll go and get Wally. Let's go. Yeah. 